Hello everyone, only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft Sky Factory 4. Today we are doing a basic introduction to mystical agriculture, uh, how to get started using that mod and using it to benefit uh, other mods within the game. Uh, this is something that's been highly requested, so I was happy to put something together. Uh, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button, that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. Okay, um, so there's several different things involved with mystical agriculture. Um, we're going to kind of overview a few of the things. If you go into the JEI and you do a search for at mystical agriculture, it's going to pull up all the different components involved with this mod. Um, and there's certain key things that we're going to start off with. And the first thing is this is all based around Inferium Essence. Inferium Essence will drop occasionally from killing different mobs within the game. Um, to get started in this at all, you are going to need at least eight Inferium Essence. So you're going to have to farm those from different mobs, or sometimes you may get them from a, um, a mob spawner that you have set up in different zones. But you will need the Inferium Essence. There are also four other primary essences. There's the Prudentium Essence, Intermedium Essence, Supremium Essence, or sorry, Superium, and then Supremium Essence. Now you can convert four of these into one of these, four of these into one of these, four of these into one of these, four of these into one of these. So it is possible to make the higher level essences by converting. And we're going to cover that here in a little bit. Um, there's three main things we're going to have to start building just to kind of get started. Uh, you are going to need at least one infusion crystal. An infusion crystal is going to be four inferium essence, one diamond, and four prosperity charge. Char shards. Huh, stumbled all over that. Four prosperity shards. Uh, you can make a prosperity sapling, uh, and that will supply you the shards that you need. Um, you're also going to need your one, at least, one Inferium seed. And that is going to be eight Inferium essence and one regular seed. Now, this is where I was saying you need at least eight to get started. This Inferium seed is really one of the first things you want to make. And then the second or third thing we're going to need is base crafting seeds. And base crafting seeds are four prosperity shards and some regular seeds. So let's look at a couple different things here. Right off the bat, we're going to look at how seeds and self work. You're going to plant any type of seeds that you make from mystical agriculture in regular um, farmland that's been tilled. There are different ways you can do that beyond that. But to get started, it needs to be in regular farmland. As you can see, I have some sprinklers set up here automatically uh, running because those will boost the speed that your mystical agriculture crops will grow. So I've gone ahead and I've made some inferium seeds. Right? And again, that's the one we looked at over there in the center, which was eight inferium and a regular seed. If you plant an inferium seed in tilled soil, as of course water excess, it will grow. As you can see, it's 14% already, and that's going to grow for us. Now, we're going to let that grow here for a second. Now, while we're waiting on that, we're going to go over here into the JEI. As you can see, there are different seeds, as we've mentioned. If you just do a search for seeds, you're going to get a whole mess of different seeds, starting with those Inferium seeds that we made. Now, there are higher tiers of Inferium seeds. What I showed you how to make was Tier 1. There's Tier 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, to make a Tier 2, you're going to put one Inferium Seed that we already showed how to make, surrounded by eight Prudentium Essences. Tier 3 is going to be a Tier 2 Seed we just learned to make, surrounded by Intermedium. Tier 4 is a Tier 3 Seed, surrounded by Superium. And number 5 is a Tier 4 Seed, surrounded by Supremium. Now, it is misunderstood sometimes. A lot of people think that a tier 2 seed is going to give you Prudentium Essence, or that a tier 3 is going to give you Intermedium Essence. That is not correct. All five of these seeds will give you base Inferium Essence. But the higher level the seed, the more Essence you will get from each individual crop that grows. So here we have, some of ours have fully grown here. So if we right click on the crop, you can see that I just got an Inferium Essence. Again. Do it again and again and again and again by right clicking. Now you can automate your farm. I have done tutorials showing how to automate farms. Um, and just like automating other crops, it'll work perfectly fine for a mystical agriculture as well. So be sure to check out my channel if you have any questions about how to automate a farm. 
But as you can see, I clicked on some of those and I got nine Inferium Essence. This is why you want to make one Inferium Seed to get started. That's going to give you your first one, which is going to start giving you more Inferium Essence. Once you have eight more, you can make a second seed and a third seed and so on. Once you have basically a field of Inferium Seeds growing, then you can start converting that Inferium Essence into better essences. So let's go ahead and look at that process. So as I mentioned before, the next step up from Inferium Essence is Prudentium Essence. So let's take a look at the essences. Let's find them. Here we are. So we have Inferium Essence. You click on that, nothing happens. But if you click on Prudentium, it says that four Inferium Essences with an infusion crystal in the center will give you a Prudentium Essence. So let's make some of those. Grab ourselves these, one of these. We're going to go over to a regular crafting table. So if you put your infusion crystal in the center, surround it with four inferium essences, that will give you a prudentium essence. As you can see, underneath my infusion crystal, it now has a bar. And when I scroll over, it says I have 999 uses left. You can use a basic infusion crystal 1,000 times. And that's going to use it up, and at the end, you can either recharge or just make another one. I find it's easier just to make new ones. But you can repeat that process as needed to make more and more. You can also use an auto crafter to set that recipe in. And then just drop those in and it will auto craft them for you, using up your uses until they go away. So that gave me a bunch of these. So you could feasibly run auto crafters from one to the second to the third to the fourth to automate this process. I have done a tutorial showing how to do that. Again, you can find that on my channel showing you how to automate those. Now, the infusion crystal, again, will eventually use up. There is one here called a master infusion crystal, which has unlimited uses, which means you only need one. You can stick it in there and it'll never wear out and it requires or prosperity shards, a diamond, just like the regular one, but instead of regular Inferium Essence, you need four Supremium Essence. And it's going to take you a little while to farm some Supremium, um, but once you can and you can get a hold of a Master Infusion Crystal, it'll definitely simplify your process since you're not going to need to keep making new ones. One simple one will work in each of your crafters or auto crafters. So again, just like we did before, if we take four of our Prudentium, let's get rid of these, and we put those in here, you're going to see that now it's going to make the next tier. Now we have some intermedium essences and so on and so forth. You can repeat that process by upgrading four of each one up higher. Now, as we looked at earlier, when we have our um, actual seeds, when we're making the seeds, using those will allow you to increase the tier of your inferium seeds to three, four, five, and up. The faster you go, the faster it's going to start producing more Inferium Essence for you, which is just going to keep increasing the speed of your process. So that's the basics of getting started. That's going to give you that. And the whole purpose of being able to do this is really to start getting into some of the different other additional seeds you can make. For example, you'll see experience seeds, diamond seeds, emerald seeds, zombie seeds. There's a lot of different seeds here. So let's just start with diamond seeds. If we click on a diamond seed and you get diamond seed and you plant it just like you do any of your inferium seeds, it's going to give you diamond essence. As you can see, there's a lot of different essences down here, from nickel essence to invar essence to uranium essence. The different seeds will give you those essences, and those essences can be combined in a crafting table to make those specific items. So diamond essence will make you diamond, invar essence will make you invar ingots, and so on. So this is a great way to get a hold of a lot of the harder to get um, items in the game. Uh, for example, we'll, we'll pick this one here. Manulium, that's how I pronounce it, don't judge me. Uh, Manulian Essence, produced by Manulian Seeds, will allow you to make Manulian Ingots. And that's not something that really can farm out in the world very easily. So it's a great way of doing that and not having to mix everything up in a smelter and have to make Manulian manually. Um, so that's, that's a great way to get that. And you can automate all of your essences once they farm from those different seeds to process and go into your um, inventory or such. I'm going to do a separate tutorial showing how to automate the different seeds 
from a mystical agricultural farm, how to auto form them using packagers and feed the final form directly into your um, inventory. So I'm going to show that in a separate video, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, but in this first one, I just kind of wanted to touch on the basics. So other than getting all of those different seeds so we can get all the different essence we talked about, the other important reason for doing mystical agriculture is down here you can see there are different gears, different items you can make. So well, here you have an inferior helmet, inferior chest plate, inferior leggings, and inferior boots. You can make a full set of armor out of inferior. So starting with a headpiece, you need four inferior ingots. And ingots can be formed by using inferior essence and base essence ingot. Base essence ingot is just an iron ingot with four prosperity shards around it. But once you have inferior ingots, you can then start building armor. Now, you'll also need armor cores. An armor core, an inferior level one, is three pieces of leather, four inferior essence, one gold ingot, and one base essence ingot. For each piece of gear that you need, you'll need at least one armor core. There are also weapons that you can make. So again, here we have, let's grab an inferior sword. Inferior sword needs an inferior ingot, an inferior tool core, which much like the armor core, is made almost the same way, um, but it uses flint instead. And then you need a mystical stick, which is just four prosperity shards around a stick. And you can make different weapons as well. Now, the different levels of armor, so if you make your way up to Prudentium armor, and so on, intermediate, the whole thing you want to get up to is Supremium armor. Once you have Supremium armor, and you have all four pieces, you will have creative flight. So you can fly around without any other type of charms or jetpacks or anything. Um, it's a very, very high durability armor. It's a very, um, very strong uh, defense, and it gives you the ability to fly. That's what I use majority of the time as my armor of choice when I'm playing the game. Um, it takes a while to build up all of the different Supremium and all the essences you need to make it, but it's kind of a, uh, an end result of doing mystical agriculture. Same with the Supremium weapons. A Supremium sword does a large amount of damage, and its durability is unlimited, so it will not wear down. Now, that being said, you can enchant Supremium swords, but there are different charms and such that you can put into different weapons and armors as needed. Okay, For example, uh, charm attack AoE. By putting that into a sword, you can boost its ability. Now your sword attack is going to do attack a radius of 5x5. Five five. And there's other tools from uh, shears to hose and scythes and such that you can make out of these as well. Um, which also, again, if you can get all the way up to Supremium, are un unlimited durability, so they never have to wear out. It's a permanent piece of gear that you can have. Uh, but those are awesome armors and weapons to make, so definitely I recommend doing so. And again, all the different seeds that you can make uh, based on mystical agriculture will give you just a whole lot of different materials you'll need for a lot of the more advanced recipes and the other mods within the game. But that's going to pretty much cover the basics of mystical agriculture. So you need a farm, you need mystical seeds, you've got to farm yourself at least eight Inferium essences to get your first Inferium seed, and then that seed will give you more essence, and over time, you can just build up more and more to advance to higher level weapons, armors, and other types of material seeds. Uh, now, I know there's a lot involved with mystical agriculture, and this was just a very brief overview and introduction. If you have questions about this video or anything that I've covered within it, please be sure to put those down in the comments, um, as well as if you have any recommendations or suggestions for other tutorials that you'd like to see in Sky Factory 4. This was a recommended video. I made it together, so I'm always looking for new ones to put together. Um, also, stay tuned here in the near future. You will see a more advanced um, tutorial for this showing how to automate some of the many different essences you'll get from these seeds and to auto put those together. Um, but that's going to do us for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.